message. I can communicate with you if Hi. you believe that I'm under my control. Good afternoon. It's afternoon time. time. What can we talk and about? I just She's dropped off um, Zion at Frisbee practice at the Oval. That's what we call like the um, sports area where the stadium is behind the high school. And right now, I am like finishing the cookies that I like, you know, I prepared all the dry ingredients already. Um, I have set them all up. Let's take a look. So these, um, I have the dry ingredients. This consists of, I'm just making half a recipe. This consists of one and one fourth cup all-purpose flour, um, one half teaspoon salt, one half teaspoon baking soda. That's it. And then here I have one half cup butter with one half cup plus one, one half cup plus, no, one fourth cup plus one eighth um, brown sugar. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to be mixing this by hand. And I have like eggs. I have two here, but I'm only going to use one. And then vanilla. And the chocolate chips, I have it in the fridge. I will just take it out when it's ready because ch the chocolate chips melt really fast. So this is what I'm doing right now. And I have my cookie sheets. I have two cookie sheets here. This is the, I'm going to use the vanilla bean paste. This is a special um, batch of chocolate chip cookies for my mother because my mother needs it for the office or for somebody at work. At the same time for our supplier at home for snacks. Now I have already put the, I just put the uh, one egg and I'm going to mix it. Now if you notice, the mixture of the butter and the sugar, they're like fluffy. You have to make sure when you mix the butter and the sugar, that's why they call it, you cream the butter and the sugar. You make sure it's fluffy, and that's the time when it's ready for you to put the eggs and then like the rest of the um, wet ingredients in. Now check out that vanilla bean paste. Mm, if only you could smell it. You know, if only you could smell through the videos that you see. This is a cover. Check out, you, 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 you can tell it's really from vanilla bean. It's the paste from the vanilla bean because you can see the seeds. See the black dots, the small black dots? That's how you can tell that it's really vanilla, like authentic. It's not flavoring, it's not artificial. Mm, smell it. Ah, smell. I'm just using one hand to record. I don't have a tripod now, nor do I have an assistant. So I'm using just a regular teaspoon, like the plastic one, so it's easy to like clean and everything. And I'm just using this. Uh, I already have like an estimate of how much half a teaspoon is, and this is my estimate. And with a vanilla bean, it doesn't make much of a difference if there's just a little bit more or less. But more is better, I think, than less. So the reason why I use this is it's because it's easier to like make sure you get all the vanilla bean paste out of it and mixed in the bowl. So I have already mixed all the wet ingredients together. The last one was the vanilla. It has been mixed very well and now I have added the dry ingredients. And what we're going to do here is just to cut it and fold. Like, it's not really strict. The reason why I'm doing this is so that like it won't be dust of like flour all over the place. Especially if you have like baking soda. I don't know if you know this, for those who have been exposed to baking soda and baking powder, they're a lot finer, they're also the same as corn starch, they're a lot finer than um, flour, and they can just like, you know, easily be carried by air around, and you'll notice if you're not careful, eventually you'll just end up sneezing one after the other. I have now incorporated all the ingredients for the cookie. We have the basic cookie dough, and all that is missing right now are the chocolate chips. And this, for me, is my favorite part of making cookies. This is our chocolate chips. Check that out. See? We have chocolate chips. You can put as much as you want. You can have a lot of chocolate chips. And I don't think, for me, personally, well, again, I think I've said, I have used the word personally so many times. You can never have too much chocolate in your chocolate chip cookies, right? 
You agree? Agree with me? Right? Check out the cookie dough, guys. This is, um, the texture of my cookie dough is a lot wetter or more moist than the usual. I want it like this because it gives me the right consistency and texture of the end product after I have baked it. Um, before I, ha I came out with my cookies, I've gone through a lot of times trying out different versions of my recipe, adding, subtracting certain parts or of my ingredients to make sure that I come up with the best kind of cookie that I can make, um, you know, that, that I would base on on the kind of cookie that I would like and dream of having. The cookie dough is ready. Look at that, right? And then I have two baking sheets and I just use them, although they're non-stick uh, cookie sheets, I mean. Two cookie sheets that are non-stick, but to be safe, I still like, like put butter on them. And I preheated the oven at 300 25 degrees and I'm going to bake it like for 10 to 12 minutes. Here's my cookie scoop. This is just like a regular size cookie scoop to come up with regular size cookies. See you later. Now I have placed like six cookie scoops on this cookie um, sheet. Uh, I can't think clearly. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just hungry. It's about time to make dinner. But I'll just put this in the oven and then we'll see. After